Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So today I'm going to be messing a bit with my LP gas system in the RV. So right up front, standard disclaimer, I'm no expert, I'm not certified, I'm just a, a regular RV owner like, like most people. Um, but uh, I like to do a few things myself and one of them is just do a quick uh, leak test on the system. So um, you take that with a grain of salt. If you do what I do, you could blow yourself up. Fair warning, it's not my fault. This is for entertainment purposes only, this video. So anyway, you remember when I built this do-it-yourself kind of rudimentary manometer to measure gas pressure? Uh, link to the video. Um, I copied another guy's video on YouTube and made that and it worked really well It actually found a leak in my uh, Barbecue that I never knew about so that was cool Anyway a friend of mine watched that video and uh, last time I met up with him. He gifted me a little uh, Digital manometer so today what I'm going to do is test that See it there. I've got it set to water column uh, uh, inches of uh, pressure as far as water column. That's really the standard they use. I think the RV one is around 11 or 12, somewhere in there. But I know this Atwood stove right runs right, and if I look at their regulator, they say they want 10 water columns. They have a little regulator here, so it drops the pressure down from whatever the RV's running at down to around 10 water columns. At least that's what their manual says. So I've kind of MacGyver things together here because all they gave me in this kit they just gave me some kind of rubber hoses Let me pull it out what you see Get a manual some surgical type hose and, and regular clear hose and I already had some clear hose so I just used some tape and taped it up so it didn't have any leaks and then I took one of the elements off and then fit the tubing right on there so there's no leaks at all and it can measure the gas pressure. So now when I turn the propane on here, I'll put her on full blast and you can see we got 10.16 WC water column inches. And this this little unit, uh, he got it uh, from Amazon. It's called a, I think it says ro Roops or Rops, Rups. Anyway, it's it's not it's not a very expensive piece of gear or anything, but it, it does the job for, for what I'm trying to do. And it does multiple units. Um, I'll leave a link in the, the description to that. So anyway, I can see that uh, it's holding pressure um, right now. So what I'm going to do is go turn off my gas cylinders on the RV. And if we have any leaks in the RV going on, then I should see that number start to drop as it depressurizes. Just wait a, wait a sec here. There we go, I got both those off. There we go, it's head, holding steady there. So let's just maybe light an element here. We'll use some gas. It'll probably be a a fair capacity in the system. So we just might have to run some of that out and let it drop a bit. You can see as I'm running the propane it's dropping. So I just want to use a bit there. I'll turn it off there. Kind of equalize again. So really at this point the trick is to um, wait sort of like five or ten minutes and see if there's going to be any significant drop in the pressure. Um, so if I have a leak anywhere else in my system, um, I'm going to see that number drop. And if that's the case, then, then I'm going to look for that, that small leak. Um, what I'd have to do is, i got some of the bubble check stuff. So I go around and smear that on the joints and look for bubbles if I can't smell it. Sometimes you can give a good sniff where you can smell a small leak. Maybe I'd send my wife Anne around looking for it because she's got an excellent sniffer. So it does look like there's a slight leak going on but I don't think it's in the system. I think it's in my little MacGyvered setup here as far as the tubing goes. Go over here 
you can see it bubbling there. So that's where the leak is. I'm going to have to improve upon that. I just didn't have time to, to find the, the right connectors to set up here. So I did that just for this test video. And if, if people are wondering whether I can check pressure backwards through this regulator, like if, if, if I'm going to be able to sense a leak in the main area, I'll just uh, test that with my buddy heater over here. I'll push the pilot light thing down and show you that it, if I have a leak in the propane out of the main system, it's going to show even when I test at this port here. Okay, so I'll push down on this pilot light. Um, and it's going to let gas out here by the sparker. So as far as I'm pushing down, it's going to be releasing a little bit of gas. So that'll simulate a, a pretty good leak in the system. So let's just see if it drops rapidly here. There we are. And we've pushed down now. Yeah, so you can see the number is coming down pretty quick. So it's picking up that leak. And uh, this thing's plumbed right into my main main part of the the RV low pressure system so it's able to to find a leak there so that just proves it can find a leak going the other way through that regulator yeah I know it's a really dirty stove <laughs> eight years of full-time RV living and and I like to cook so it's seen a lot of great meals. Well, there you go. That worked pretty good. Handy little gadget. Um, hat tip to my friend in uh, Mojave, California. Tim, thanks very much for uh, for uh, picking that up for me. It's going to come in handy. A little easier to use than the, than the old school uh, tubing with water and the 2x4, that's for sure. So I think I'm going to figure out a way to uh, make this, this output with a quick connect. Like this is the quick connect I use for the low pressure port for my barbecue. Underneath that tank there, there's a, a quick connect port and it's right on the low pressure line coming out of the, the propane system. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to uh, get the, the adapters to set that up just so I can do quick checks. So this isn't really any replacement for getting your system certified or anything like that, but I think it's kind of handy if I if I am doing some kind of project, you know, where I've dis where I've disconnected gas anywhere. A lot of times when we're working on a water heater or a fridge, you have to disconnect the gas line and put it back together. So it's kind of a quick way. Or you know, if it goes into an RV service center for work, <laughs> can't always trust them really. <laughs> anyway, till next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Um, next up will be. Uh, I'm going to have the the review out for that uh, that uh, Halo View backup camera. I'm just going to go out tomorrow and test it on my plate. Test the license plate bracket. We're going to go up for a tri trip to a place called Telegraph Cove. That's not far from here up island. Really beautiful place. So I'll probably have a video for that as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Got some good weather back again after that. Uh, a little bit of rain went through, wetted things down, now we're getting a bit of heat.